Hi, and today we're going to be looking at a new program called Vide. Well, it's not really a new program, it's actually just been hiding under the radar. So, basically what it is, it's a full replacement for PackRat and ENTSpy, but it runs on the .NET framework instead of Java, so it's a lot faster. And it crashes less because Java is very buggy. If you want to download this, you go to www.riin t o u n g e dot com slash v i d e slash. Then here it gives you a short description about everything about the program and a nice little download button. But I'm actually going to show you what this program does. It's actually quite nice. So you don't have to install it, and you just load it up, and you'll instantly see outputs as a tab open. And what you see here, it just this is pretty much just like the console for it. Right here we have Hammer Splitter Editor. Now, this is kind of pointless in my opinion, but it's kind of cool if you want to edit your things outside of Hammer. You can choose each of your camera types from right here, and your 3D draw distance, model draw distance, detail draw distance. These are things that you can normally set through the options in Hammer. And if you noticed, when I opened that, it popped up as a tab, so you can have multiple things open in this at the same time. Right here we have the Mass VMT Editor. This is actually a very helpful program for me. All you do is you click add, you select the VMT files, you can select more than one, and then you can either change the shader for all of them at the same time, or you can add a value, like you can add a second base texture, or you can add them as a detail texture to all of them at the same time. All you have to do is select it. So if I want to make these a model, parameter of add, click add. It just added it to both of those. And if you want to remove that from all of them, you just click Remove. And it removes them. You can also add animated texture proxies to all of them, all at the same time. So that's very nice to have. And when you minimize them, they drop down here to basically its own little ta taskbar. Right here, we haven't gone over this. I haven't taught this, and not many people have, but it's a particle editor. You can create new particles or edit existing ones. So, for me, the only particle that I have currently is my di dynamic water particle. So you can go to particles, and then open that up, and inside here you'll see you have water faucet, water faucet refract, and these are all the particle types that are inside. And then when you click down on it, you see all the different parameters that this water particle has. And you can edit it, of course. And you can change its format to binary 2, 3, or 4, so left for dead 2, left for dead, or orange box. This whole Vide tool does not work for the 2006 or 2007 engine, so anyone who is mapping for Half-Life 2 Deathmatch or any mods that run on 2006, this tool is pretty much useless to you. You can just change a whole bunch of options here, but particle editing isn't one of the things that I do. And here we have the VBSP editor. Now this is kind of an interesting tool. You open up a BSP. And so this would be located in Steam Apps, My Account, C Strike, and then here we go. We have all the VBSPs that we talked about in Tutorial 47. You can just load it up. And look at this! It gives you all of the different group types for each thing. So this is pretty much a super, super, super easy way to create your own VBSP files. So I'll end up I'll end up making a tutorial on this at some point and using a lot of things in this tool. And then right here we have a VMT editor. This one's just pretty much a generic VMT editor. The Sonic Site 1 works just as well. This one's just good for a quick job. If you need something quick, like it'll add a shader, you can add parameters, and a whole bunch of proxies if you want. Then right here, we have the BSP info. You load up a BSP map, and it will give you all the information on it, the entities, the planes, and you can choose to extract it, or whatever you want. You can, you can save them as a lump to your desktop, and then it just created a lump file on my desktop, which is just pretty much an overview of the map and text. I honestly don't know what that, that would be used for. Um, here we have, uh, ENT Spy, basically. You open up, an, again, a BSP. 
So if I were to open up one of my maps again, you see here are all the entities in the map. And you can change an entity without needing a recompile on a map. You can change or add spawns even. You can add a whole new key value. You can add an entity and it just pops up as null. And then you just change its class name to like info player terrorist and now we have a new spawn you just have to give it angles and origins and you can add spawns in from this program and you can change everything you want except lights because lights need to recompile on the vrad and then right here we have the pack file lump editor this is basically the replacement for uh, pack rat or map analyst or map there's so many of them but you just again you just it's pretty simple you just load up the map it'll tell you what's in here or not like this is all the custom crap that's already in here and everything that's green has been included if you click scan it'll ask you what path you want to scan you click scan and it'll scan really quick and everything that's red has been added already or actually cannot be added because it's in a GCF and it knows that it knows they're in a GCF anything that's blue you don't have to worry about those already in anything that's green you don't have to worry about those already in but the orange ones have not been added yet and then you can just click auto and it'll add them in and then what the cool thing about this one does is when you use the pack lump editor when you go to your maps folder now it automatically put it into a zip file for you so you can drag it out of zip file if you want or you can just upload it to the internet which is typically what you do after you pack a file it also has some options of what you want to search for you can scan for stuff that's already packed or that's not packed skybox map specific files static props etc so then there's also another really cool option you click status and it'll give you information on everything that is custom content related in the map and the one button that not many things have you have revert delete so you can remove stuff from the pack and then there's extract you can click extract save this to your desktop as test and on my desktop it just created a new folder and this is basically all the custom content that's in the map just got extracted with one click and you can put it into your c strike directory so this will make it very simple to remove data from maps and add them to your own personal collection which will help you grow and grow for custom content on your maps so i just thought that this was a very interesting tool that hasn't got enough recognition and it's definitely going to replace like four things in my tools library so thanks for watching download this tool let's get this guy some views and some downloads and some hits thanks bye